Hi guys! Here's our second book by Yuri Shlovitz, and this is another Caldecott Honor book. He is a pretty neat author, and this is actually a true story that he wrote about his life growing up. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. How I Learned Geography by Yuri Shulvitz. In memory of my father. When war devastated the land, buildings crumbled to dust. Everything we had was lost and we fled empty handed. We traveled far, far east to another country where summers were hot and winters were cold. To a city of houses made of clay, straw, and camel dung, surrounded by dusty, dusty steps burned by the sun. We lived in a small room with a couple we did not know. We slept on dirt floors. I had no toys, no books. Worst of all, food was scarce. One day, father went to the bazaar to buy bread. He was a good artist, look at that. And evening, as evening approached, he hadn't returned. Mother and I were worried and hungry. It was nearly dark when he came home. He carried a long roll of paper under his arm. I bought a map, he announced triumphantly. Where's the bread, mother asked. I bought a map, he said again. Mother and I said nothing. I had enough money to buy only a tiny piece of bread. And we would still be hungry, he explained apologetically. No supper tonight, mother said bitterly. We'll have to We'll have the map instead. I was furious. I didn't think I would ever forgive him. And I went to bed hungry while the couple we lived with ate their meager supper. The husband was a writer. He wrote in silence, but oh, how loudly he chewed. He chewed a small crust of bread with such enthusiasm as if it were the most delicious morsel in the world. I envied him his bread and I wished I were the one chewing it. I envied him. I covered my head with my blanket so I would not hear him smacking his lips with such noisy delight. The next day, father hung the map. It took up an entire wall. Our cheerless room was flooded with color. I became fascinated by the map and spent long hours looking at it, studying it every detail and many days drawing it on any scrap of paper that chanced my way. I found strange sounding names on the map and savored the, their toxic, their exotic sound, making a little rhyme out of them. Fukuka, Takuka, Mos Musik, Fukuyama, Nagoyama, Tomisk, Okazaki, Makazaki, Pinsk, Pennsylvania, Transylvania, Minsk. I repeated this rhyme like a magic incantation and was transformed transported far away without ever leaving our room. Wow. I landed in burning deserts. I ran on beaches and felt their sand between my toes. I climbed sl snowy mountains where icy winds licked my face. I saw wondrous temples where stone carvings danced on the walls and birds of all colors sang on the rooftops. I passed through fruit groves, eating as many papayas and mangoes as I pleased. 
I drank fresh water and rested in the shade of palm trees. I came to a city of tall buildings and counted zillions of windows falling asleep before I could finish. And so I spent enchanted hours far, far from our hunger and misery. I forgave my father. He was right after all. The end. This is a note about the author and how he grew up. It says, I was born in Warsaw, Poland in 1935. The worst, the worst blitz occurred in 1939. When I was four years old, I remember streets caving in, buildings burning or crumbling to dust, and a bomb falling into the stairwell of our apartment building. Shortly thereafter, I fled Poland with my family, and for six years we lived in the Soviet Union, most of the time in Central Asia in the city of Turkestan, in what is now Kazakhstan. We eventually arrived in Paris, France in 1947, then moved to Israel in 1949. I came to the United States in 1959. The story in this book takes place when I was four or five years old. In the early years of our stay in Turkestan, the original map was long lost long ago, so I created the map here based on my memory of that first one using a collage pen and ink and watercolors. This is me in Turkestan at the age of seven or eight. It is my only surviving photo at that age. I know it was taken in the winter because I'm wearing a quilted cotton jacket, which almost everyone wore during the cold months. This is a map he drew of Africa at the age of 10 on the back of a letter. I was lucky that the letter was written only on one side because paper was a luxury and most letters covered with writing on both sides. The map is in Russian, which I used to speak fluently, but now I can only remember a few words. When I was 13, we were living in Paris. I drew this picture of Central Marketplace in Turkestan from memory. In Paris, I became an avid reader of comic books, hence the cartoony style of this picture. The signs on the building are in Russian and mean barber and tea house, respectively. In those days, I was a student in French elementary school and the lucky winner of a drawing competition held among all the elementary schools in our district. It was my first artistic success. The end.